So what does the Zapruder film show? Uh, it's very controversial what it shows and what it doesn't show. Some will even claim that the Zapruder film has been uh, doctored and we're not seeing the original uh, of that. But what does the Zapruder film show? I've spoken with people who, as I'm watching the film with them, and they'll say, see, there, that's when it happened. And I look at it and I don't see uh, what they're talking about. When Kennedy is first hit, when Governor Connolly is first hit, there are many different interpretations. When was Kennedy first hit? When was Connolly first hit? Now for frame 313, there's no question that was the fatal shot. But in terms of other shots or what it means, was there more than one shooter or not? Very controversial. There's one thing that is not controversial in the Zapruder film. And that is, after President Kennedy is hit in film, in frame 313, his body goes immediately back and to the left. Uh, so that's not controversial. After he is shot, he goes back and to the left. Now, if we're thinking about our simple way of thinking about things, and I'm very simple, so this is how I do think about uh, things, that would seem to be consistent with a shot from the front. So it comes and hits and it will continue to go in the same direction. Now, that does not necessarily mean that it happened, and I'm saying that this is the simple uh, way of thinking of it, but Kennedy's body going back and to the left would be, at least in a uh, reasonably simple way, uh, that would be consistent with a shot from the front. If you were thinking that Kennedy had been shot from behind, presumably his body would go uh, towards uh, the front. So we have now, we've got the Zapruder film. We see something very clearly in this. But what was the American public told in 1963 about what the Zapruder film showed with regard to the direction of President Kennedy's body after the shooting. So uh, we know, because we can watch the film, that his body goes back and to the left. The first description of the film uh, that was made in was in, from November of 1963 by a young cub reporter, you may have heard of him, named Dan Rather. So he happens to be in Dallas, and he sees the Zapruder film, and he describes the Zapruder film uh, with remarkable accuracy. I couldn't believe it when I first heard this, his description, including describing the expression on Jackie Kennedy's face. I don't know how he was able to do that. If I had had the frames just in front of me and looking at them individually, I couldn't have done a better description than did Dan Rather with one exception. And he describes President Kennedy's body after being hit as going forward. So Dan Rather, who has seen the film, very accurate description except for on this one point. Okay, so that's one. Now people can make mistakes. I make mistakes. I assume some of you make mistakes, so uh, maybe Dan Rather made a mistake, got some things right and some things incorrect. Here's one I have a little bit more difficulty accounting for. Remember, Life Magazine owns the original Zapruder film. And on December 6, 1963, I have a copy of the, a photocopy of the article here, uh, Life Magazine wants to talk about what happened in Dealey Plaza. And Life magazine says there are already starting to be conspiracy theories about President Kennedy being shot from the front. And Life magazine in this article says, well, yes, we understand the Dallas doctors did think that President Kennedy was shot from the front. Uh, and they said we at Life magazine didn't understand uh, how could Kennedy have been shot from the front as the Dallas doctors thought if Oswald's behind? So this is a good question. So Life magazine went to look at the film itself to see what actually happened. And so from Life magazine, remember, they have the original film. The American public does not have it. Uh, it says, it has been hard to understand how the bullet could enter the front of, front of his throat if Oswald is behind. Hence the recurring guess that there was a second sniper somewhere else. That is the grassy knoll behind the picket fence. Um, 
but the eight millimeter film shows the president turning his body far around to the right as he waves to someone in the crowd. His throat is exposed toward the sniper's nest just before he clutches it. So we, Life Magazine, we have the only original record of the assassination. President Kennedy turned around, and when he turned around, that's when he was shot. So if you read Life Magazine, if you believe that reporters are telling the truth, that they have observed this record, which they have, I think that makes sense. Well, in 1969, when the film was first able to be seen by the public, this is again in the Garrison trial, it turns out President Kennedy never turned around to look behind. So how do you account for this now? Dan Rather, very accurate description, except for this one thing on the question of which direction the shot comes from. Life magazine has the film. They understand the issue exactly. Was Kennedy shot from the front? and they either make an extraordinarily stupid mistake or they lie about this so the American public knows. In 1964, some of the frames of the Zapruder film are included in the Warren Commission report. On the question of the direction that the president's body went after the shooting, the Warren Commission report inverted the frames so it looked as though his body went forward rather than back. So the frames were inverted. So you're a conscientious person, you're reading the news, you're trusting in the Warren Commission, you're trusting in Dan Rather, everybody trusts Dan Rather, right? I think I'm right about that. Uh, you trust Life Magazine, uh, and we've got the, this rather consistent set of mistakes on exactly the same issue, on exactly the important issue in the Kennedy assassination, was there a shooter from the front? Uh, when it was point, after the film became available publicly, the uh, Warren Commission was asked, or former members of the Warren Commission were asked about this. The FBI ended up reporting that it was an inadvertent printer's error that the, the order of the films were, uh, were uh, switched. So that's our Zapruder film, uh, raises some uh, questions about this. Now, with the information that I'm giving you now, that doesn't necessarily prove anything, uh, but it certainly does suggest that people were certainly aware of what the issue was, was President Kennedy shot from the front, and all of the official information going to the American public is attempting to deny that even when there is information uh, showing that that was not the case. 